molecules, multiple sampling plants. Okay, in previous classes we discussed about single sam single sampling, double sampling. Okay, this is multiple sampling. So in module four we are discussing about acceptance sampling. That means uh, because of various reason we cannot uh, check or we cannot evaluate quality of all units manufactured. It will consume resources. It will require a lot of time. Instead of that, what we are going to do is we will pick some samples randomly from a lot, and we will check quality of these selected samples. Based on that, we will make a judgment regarding complete lot. Okay. For that, we have different plans or different approaches which we can follow. Okay. So single sampling plan means. So we will pick samples at once, and decision regarding whether to accept a complete lot, entire lot means. So whatever manufactured uh, in a batch, or whatever the company is procuring at once. Okay, so that we say lot. So we are going to make a decision whether to accept a lot or reject to lot. Okay, this decision making is called as lot sentencing. So lot sentencing means making a decision regarding whether to accept or reject a lot. So in case of single sampling, we will pick samples at once. It may it, it depends on the sample size, okay. And for every sampling plan, there will be acceptance number. Acceptance number is how many defects we can tolerate, okay. For example, if there are thousand units of a product, and if we are picking fifty for evaluation. If acceptance number is two out of this fifty, if two are less than two are defective, we will accept that lot. If it is more than two, we will reject that lot. Okay, so that is single sampling. So there is a lot. So you are fixing sample size as fifty. That means you are picking fifty, and you are fixing acceptance number as two defective. If there are more than two defective, you will reject. If two are less than two defective, you will accept the lot. That is single sampling. In case of double sampling, so at times you can make a decision based on first sample. At times we need to go for second sample. Okay. In case of double sampling, for first sample there will be a sample size and there will be acceptance number. For second sample also there will be a sample size and there will be acceptance number. Okay. So based on uh, a procedure we are going to do that. That we will discuss in detail in previous class about double sampling. in case of multiple sam sampling we are going to pick the samples more than twice in case of single sampling only once we will pick samples it may be 50 it may be 100 but it will be taken only once in case of double sampling so it can be taken twice depending on the circumstances in case of multiple sampling it will be taken more than two times okay it can be 3 4 5 So, depending on the number of stages, okay. Multiple sampling plans. In multiple sampling plan, more than two samples can be required to sentence a lot. Sentence a lot, lot means it is a decision taking process, okay. Whether to accept or reject. The decision making is called sent lot sentencing or sentence a lot. Consider a multiple sampling plan with five stages. That means samples are taken at five different intervals okay cumulative sample size that means it is the overall sample size like your cgpa okay so cumulative sample size it is 20 40 60 80 for for stage 1 okay sample size is 20 next that means you will pick 20 samples from a lot then acceptance number 0 means if there are no defects out of 20 if all are good good products are all having good quality then only we will accept it because acceptance number is zero means so there is no room for defectives there is no tolerance for defectives okay next rejections rejection number is 3 that means so in first stage you will pick 20 samples if the acceptance number is 0 that means if there are no defectives among 20 you will accept the lot okay you don't proceed for second stage here itself you will stop 
uh, sampling even though it is multiple sampling plan you will make a decision with the help of only this 20 samples you don't move further okay next suppose if the number of defectives are less than 3 that means 1 or 2 if out of 20 if the number of defectives are 1 or 2 you will proceed to second stage okay if the number of defectives are 3 or more than 3 again you don't go for second stage you will reject in the first stage itself okay so that means out of 20 if the number of defectives are 0 you will accept the lot if the number of defectives are 3 or more than 3 you will reject the lot so based on these two numbers here itself you, you can make a decision when it is 0 or when it is 3 or more than 3 you can make a decision 0 you will accept 3 or more than 3 defectives you will reject you will sentence a lot in the first stage itself and it will end there itself but when it will proceed to second stage when the number of defectives are more than 0 and less than 3 that means if the number of defectives are 1 or 2 next so you will go to second stage that means once again you will pick 40 samples okay once again you are picking 40 new samples out of 40 okay now if you get one defective okay that means in the previous uh, stage if you got one defective now it is if it is zero you will accept okay so r so here you can say in, in another way so out of 40 okay so if if the defective is one you will accept okay you don't consider the previous thing so out of 40 if the defective is one you will accept if the defective are four or more than that you will reject okay if the number of defectives are more than one and less than four that means two three then you will move on to next stage if it is one you will accept if it is four or more than four you will reject the lot again this sampling procedure will end at second stage itself suppose if the number of defectives after second stage are two to three you will proceed next again you are picking 60 new samples now out of these 60 if the number of defectives are 3 or less than that you will accept the lot here itself the procedure will end or if the number of defectives are 5 or more than that you will reject it suppose if the number of defectives are more than 3 and less than 5 that means if the number of defectives is 4 only when the number of defectives are 4 you will proceed to next stage okay in next stage again acceptance number is 5 that means number of defectives if they are less than or equal to 5 you will accept the lot if the number of defectives are 7 or more than it you will reject if it is 6 that is more than 5 less than 7 you should proceed to next stage once again you will pick 100 samples okay when you pick 100 samples out of 100 if the number of defectives are less than or equal to 8 you will accept the lot if it is more than that means anyhow it is 9 you will reject so in fifth, fifth stage you can see so here itself anyhow it will end there is no in between value okay so out of 100 8 or 9 means so any one is the possibility there is no third alternative or whether you can accept or reject if the number of defectives are 8 or less than that you will accept if it is more than 8 you will reject okay so here itself it will end okay this is how in case of multiple sampling so a decision regarding whether to accept or reject a lot will be made multiple sampling plan will operate as follows if at the completion of any stage of sampling the number of defective items is less than or equal to the acceptance number the lot is accepted that means for first case if it is zero or less than zero is not possible if it is zero it will be accepted for second case out of 40 
1 or 0, it will be accepted. 63 or less than 3, it will be accepted. If during any stage, the number of defective items equals or exceed the rejection number, the lot is rejected. Otherwise, the next sample is taken. That means, uh, the sampling procedure will proceed to next stage. Okay, as I discussed. So, after taking 20, if the number of defectives are 3 or more than 3, it will be rejected. If it is a 1 or 2, it will proceed to next stage. That is, next sample is taken. The multiple sampling process. continues until the fifth sample is taken at which time a lot disposition decision must be made. Lot disposition decision means whether to accept a lot or reject the decision is made. Eight or five. Okay. Next, first sample is usually inspected 100%. All subsequent samples are usually subject to curtailment. In uh, previous class, we discussed in detail about curtailment. Okay, so usually for first sample, curtailment will not be applied because we want to get a complete understanding of the nature of the lot and the proper understanding of the quality of the lot. For first sample, we don't go for curtailment. For second sample, we go for curtailment. That means, by evaluating 40, okay, so if the, uh, after evaluating, for example, after evaluating 5 samples, if all 5 are defective, okay, out of 40, you have evaluated only 5. Now, all 5 are defectives. Now, itself, we can reject the lot. Need not evaluate remaining 35. Because already you got more than a 4, so need not proceed with that. So, that is curtailment. But for first case, you will do 100% inspection because, okay, after performing uh, quality evaluation of 3, all 3 may be defective. Okay. If, it, if you stop there itself, you will have a feeling that all 20 may be different. So, you will have bad impression about supplier. But when you go for continuous uh, complete evaluation, okay, remaining 17 may be having good quality. That means out of 20, 3 are defective. Even now you can reject it. But if you give one more opportunity for supplier, he may, he may be able to reduce the number of defectives. Okay, instead of losing a supplier, instead of losing relationship with the supplier, you can give few, few more opportunities for him to improve his quality. That is possible. Okay, for that reason, for initial samples, for sample 1, we do not go for curtailment. That will be evaluated completely. The next advantage of multiple sampling, the samples required at each stage are usually smaller than those in single or double sampling. So, here in case of single sampling, the sample size may be 60. Though it includes number of stages, Okay, if you are able to make a decision at stage 1, stage 2, okay, or even stage 1, okay, instead of evaluating 60, you are evaluating only 20 and you are making a decision. Okay, even after two stages, so it will be 60. In single sampling also, at once you are going to evaluate any of 60. Okay, so that is the meaning. Next, disadvantages. Multiple sampling is much more complex to administer. So that means every stage you are considering acceptance number and rejection number, whether it is uh, less or equal to this, more than that, what is the in between value. Okay, so it includes a procedure. Okay, so it includes multiple stages. In every step you are making decision. Whereas in single or double sampling, in one or two steps, so you are making a decision. Okay, next. Last 